Hello and welcome to Super Mid Tier. Today, we're going to be checking out Cassette Beast. This is a monster collecting RPG. Came out, uh, I believe it was last year. Um, definitely kind of in a similar vein to Pokemon. I know right now, as of this recording, like Pal World's kind of the big Pokemon like that everyone's talking about, but all it really did for me is it reminded me of this game and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I think I got this on a Steam sale and kind of forgot to play it, but gonna rectify that now. I don't know a whole lot about it, just know it's an RPG, you collect monsters, you fight with them. That's about it. And cassettes involved. So we'll just go ahead and start. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Wirral. Few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Ooh. Hey. I didn't realize there was going to be cu character customization. Um, I don't know. Yeah, see, I know some people like really, really like customer care uh, character creations in games. I'm personally not huge into them like some people can spend tons of time like creating a character i'm generally not that kind of person not my not my thing but then again then i have to like live with it for the rest of the game hmm male or female I kind of go either way. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, uh, making a plan as a dude. Sometimes I feel like playing as a girl. I think we'll play as... I think I'll go as a guy. Headband. Headscarf. Not really a lot of good and kind of more masculine hairstyles, I would say. Yeah, it's up. Like I said, some people can just spend all day doing this kind of thing. Um, hair color. Let's go with... Can I change my outfit at some point in the game? Now one thing I prefer about uh, customer character character creation is if it lets you change it later on in the game. Because I'm definitely someone who's very uh, fickle about my taste in character design. So sometimes I just want to change it when I get a better option. Or whatever. Let's go with this. Um, let's see. Corvus is kind of a name I've started using a lot for, like, cu custom characters. It's, um, Latin for, like, crow or raven. I don't know why, I just, I just think it sounds cool. But I'm more of a gameplay person, so I generally tend to kind of rush through character creation, just get right into the action. Nope. Oh. So there's a the stamina wheel. Doesn't last very long. Ooh, is this chest? What do we got here? Oh, X. Wood. If I can expand my stamina wheel at some point. Guess I'm gonna have to find a key.
Hello. What? Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers or anyone for that matter. Very. I do kind of like the cassette tapes. Very 80s. What's your aesthetic? Spooky. Spooky. Yeah. Band sheep? Yeah, I'd say spooky. Um, I mentioned this before, but I actually hate horror games, but I always kind of like that spooky aesthetic. I do really like Halloween, and in Pokemon, uh, ghost types are one of my favorite, personally. The eerie moans of the wild banshee at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? Yeah. I guess I can't blame them. Racist monsters taped to five stars to unlock more information. Half dead on gnome, bootlegs. Okay. So I guess this is my starter. <laughs> and I do kind of like this guy. <laughs> he's like a. He's like a. Uh, just breathe. You'll just. I was kind of surprised he actually turned turn right. into a monster. But I do kind of like this crab thing. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. It's kind of like a, a hermit crab, but it's, but well, it's a traffic cone. That's kind of that's actually kind of clever. All right, fight. Um, oh, it's my passive. The user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Melee attack. Do I control both? Dodge. Uh, chance to summon a temporary ally. Guess I'll just do basic attack. New... new stuff. Battering Ram. Hits one target, lowers the target's accuracy. You handled yourself pretty well out there. I'm Kaylee. Yeah. Nice to make your acquaintance. Yeah, I kind of went with the hair, figuring I'd eventually change out into like a different colored outfit. I didn't really want to go with like silver on silver. <laughs> Harbor Town. <laughs> Not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. I don't feel so great. <laughs> Wonderful. Transforming for the first time is quite the shock to the psyche. Yeah, I, I guess it would be. Where are we? Sorry. New Weirl? It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. I'm afraid not. Get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> so this is an isekai. No, apart from the one. Like with the cassette yeah. player? Pretty sure a word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. My era? I mean... There is something about, like, kind of that 80s nostalgia aesthetic. Like, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but it's just kind of, it's kind of a, a nice aesthetic. Like, you know, in shows like uh, Stranger Things, things like that. I've always kind of liked it, even though, like I said, it was before my time. 
speak to Kaylee at Harbortown East entrance. All right, cool. Ranger handbook. All right. Nope. X. Oh, so we can change the outfit. T-shirt, jacket. Well, first let's change the color. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of color options, unfortunately. Bottom, let's maybe go for something a little more bright and colorful for some contrast. Yeah, let's go with green. Now, we've got blue is kind of the accent, so maybe some orange. I don't know much about color theory, but I know like a teeny tiny bit. Sweater, t shirt, jacket. I like the jacket. I was hoping for more like a regular black. Sweater. Let's go with um, yeah, let's go with jacket. And then shoes we'll make. Uh, actually, kind of like the purple. Just like a little bit of purple on there. So, like I said, it's. It's cool you can just change this at any time, apparently. So, go with that. There we go, looking a lot better. Not perfect, but you know, I like it. No, oh, whoops, keep hitting the wrong button. It's how strange that's indoors when nobody can deliver letters. Uh, sure. Um, no. I'm guessing that's for some kind of multiplayer option. I will apologize ahead of time if I hit the wrong button by mistake. Um, I'm using, like, an Xbox-style controller, but I'm more used to, like, the, the layout of, like, Nintendo systems. Aww. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbortown start a football team? Wait, football football or American football? I don't think giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Yeah, I guess it's one way to think of it. I mean, the, the voices definitely seem kind of more British, so I'm guessing... I wonder... The development team might be might be British, actually. Hello? Oops. Sorry. I don't know if I necessarily want to explore too much. I kind of want to get back into the action, but... Ah. This town is stood. Did you know that? I don't know what the point of having such a small stamina wheel is. Yeah, you know what? We can explore later. Let's just jump right into the action. Held your own last time we fought together. It, they went down in one hit. <clears throat> Aaron. Well. Quaker monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. Check the path. And make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. No, it actually has like physics. I guess so. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. I'll see you are the bike. Mm. Spring heel. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points, or AP for short. 
Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. You won't be able, if you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use this turn. Each party member gets two AP each turn and extra one if they land a type advantage attack. Plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. Pretty basic strategy, but I can definitely appreciate that. Uh, we'll just start with the basic. Oh, yeah, I still need one more. Uh, dodge, call for help. <clears throat> yeah, health bar. If a form loses all its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health bar, the red bar. Oh! I was I was like, they said the red is yours, I was like, what does that mean? Gross. I got it. Can I record? Oh, I don't have any blank tapes. A couple basic attacks should finish him off. Sonic Boom! Wheat, plastic, old wood. Yeah! perspective. I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Kaylee is now your partner. Serenade. Particularly loud creatures can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone, tails, and wings. Don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not singing is too loud for those around them. It kind of looked like that thing was um, more of a support monster. Whoa! What the? Oh, fair. When do I get a glider? Hey. Pair of tapes and heal up. So that's what the wood's for. I do kind of like the double battle aspect. Um, I know in Pokemon games, they always kind of... Um, they would occasionally do, like, double battles and stuff, but it felt like they didn't really... 100%... 10% of all stats when transformed into Serenade or its remaster. Um, like, yeah, when they introduced double battles in Pokemon, I thought it was a cool idea, but it felt like they didn't really use it enough to really make use of the mechanic. It was, like, a cool idea that, at least in, like, the single player, I can't really speak on the competitive side. Abilities. Stickers and moves. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. Oh, that's kind of neat. Can So stickers, I guess, are kind of like TMs, but, but they're like equipable items, basically. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. By filling tapes experience point bars from chests or caches, I don't have anything. Ooh, what do I... What do I rename it? It's like a ghost sheep, so... Hmm. I'm terrible at coming up with, like, nicknames and stuff. Ban sheep. 
I mean, that's that's a pretty good pun already, so... I'll just leave it alone for now. If I think of something later, I'll change it. But I need to get some tapes. I want to start catching... or recording. I guess that's why they're doing tapes. Watched that pretty recently, didn't you? Rewind. Fully restores the HP of one tip. <laughs> it's a pencil. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. What is this? Whoa! You're showing off now, aren't you? There must be a way to get it to come over here. What we got two. Oh my god, dog! Sonic Boom! It's a call for help. So it's like a fire type? Guess we'll just focus on this one to start. Flinched! Character flinches, skips his next turn. Nice. Ah, oh, dang it. Air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future attacks. Ah, cool! So I guess that's how they do like type advantages and stuff. Okay, so let's try hitting this one. And Sonic Boom! I can't stop saying that. Okay, now, okay, it does just target the next one. Sharpen. Raises the user's melee attack. Alright, is this going to trigger a boss fight? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a moss, so it has to come over to the light. That's kind of funny. Okay. Basic tape. Records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Well. Their essence can be well recorded to cassette tapes. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a contrived concept if you think about it, like you record it on a cassette, but I kind of like it. It kind of gives that 80s vibe of like making a mixtape. Okay. Dominos. See themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Kind of looks like a superhero. Kind of like, it's like Batman, but a moth. Whether recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level of rarity, how much damage he dealt while recording, how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal to the target. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking out. Oh, that's good to know. Hmm. So 
it's air, and it's moth, and it's kind of like a superhero. The little <laughs> feather thing kind of reminds me of All Might, honestly. But. Dominoth. Domin. Dominoth. Um, yeah, I'll leave it for now. I'm gonna think of something later. I do wanna give everything nicknames. Uh, switch. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. So you won't be able to record it. You with me what? so far? So it's kind of like a speedy attacker. Let's try to dodge. Nope. Didn't do it in time. Power 68. So it's still stronger, so. Zephyr. Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. You can hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Nice. Sorry. these snake things. Ooh, or do I want the... kind of want the... the dog. Landing a fire type attack on air type creates an updraft, an air wall that absorbs a number of incoming attacks. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. Let's go ahead and hit that one. Uh, sonic boom. Ooh. Ah, dang it. <laughs> it's too strong. I was hoping to catch one of them. Or record. Wallet. There we go. Carna Viper. Despite its grinning visage, Carna Viper isn't actually a friendly creature. It is very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches it that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Poison type. Raises the user's range attack. One duration plus three experience points per empty slot. Doesn't seem like it's very strong because it only has one empty slot. I wonder if
Alright, just gonna go all out and take this thing down. Bite. Hits one target, heals the user a little bit afterward. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, this is something. Okay, so that's just like a shortcut. Okay, I really want to get that fire dog. I'm just going to go ahead and start recording. Oh, I can't sound a boom right away. Prevents the opponent from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. Okay, let's just start with the attack. Nice. Okay, cord. What that fire dog? And this should hit hard enough that it should give me a pretty good range. Sixty one percent. Plastic wall. Oh, I got it. Nice. Palm bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures in your new world. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally sending anything and everything on fire, they would make quite good pets. I like it. It's this is my this is probably my favorite one so far. It's a fire dog. We need, we need to recover some health. Strike. Chance of being used automatically when hit with a melee attack. Ooh, interesting. In flame, hits one target. So I only got one more spot in my party. Okay, that's not gonna work. Gotta be a way through here. Huh? Uh oh, that doesn't look good. What is that? This is Yeah, I mean, I just got here. How am I supposed to know it's normal? Investigate the strange structure. All right, well, I think I'm gonna call it there for now. I'm really liking this so far. It's, you know, it's been nice, it's fun. It's kind of got that nostalgic 80s vibe to it. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep going with this, so. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Stay tuned. And see you later.